that it's the middle of June, but I wanted to welcome you to my May favorites because better late than never. And welcome to Santa Monica. There's a great view behind you and you are literally contorted on like 50 books and boxes and things. Um, so that's dedication. So I appreciate you being here and hanging out. And for today's video, I just wanted to talk about things that are inspiring me, that are making me feel like a great human being. And just kind of chill and tell you about my May favorites. And again, I apologize that this post is late. All of my posts right now are still kind of backlogged from my trip to the US Virgin Islands. And I kind of have to open up about social media anxiety. I know that a lot of people feel anxiety surrounding their image, and I've totally felt that before. You know, when I was modeling, when I was younger, I was constantly comparing myself to other people. But I've developed this new sense of anxiety, which is kind of almost a manifestation of like hoarding or perfectionism. But like my social media has to be in like a perfect order and it has to be very choreographed and I'm very adamant about when I post and what order I'm posting in and things have to happen in the order that they're posted in my life. But sometimes that gives me so much anxiety because like I'm in Santa Monica right now. I've been to New York and LA probably three times since that trip and I, I feel like I have to, it's like a diary for me. You know, it's like a personal but public diary. And there's all this anxiety around losing photos and I feel like they have to go in a certain order. And um, it, it's like data hoarding. I hoard a lot of data and video clips. And even though I've been able to let go a lot of things in my life, data is just one of those things that has gotten to me. And I feel like I kind of have to open up about that because like, does anybody else feel that way? It's like a perfectionism syndrome, but it's not body focused or it's not skin focused. It's not me focused. It's like psychological OCD focused. Anyways, that's what's going on. So <laughs> I apologize that that's all backlogged. But speaking of which, something that has made my Instagram so much easier. This is a phone case from Ankit with a pop socket of a cat with an astronaut on it. Is that not the cutest thing? Something that I have loved throughout the month of May is leaving my hair natural. A lot of people have commented that my hair has been looking really healthy. And I've actually done a couple things that are counterintuitive, like not cutting my hair um, to actually make it healthier. And one thing that I've absolutely been loving this is from Giovanni. It's the Too Chic. This has coconut oil or coconut milk as well as blackberries and I've been using this to mend split ends. So once split ends are split you can never like sew them back together but you can smooth them over. So this is what I use. It has antioxidants in it and your hair is dead keratin so do antioxidants actually work? Not the same way that they will on your skin but at the same time this is what I've been using for my hair um, just to kind of keep it healthy and also protect it from the water. If you are going into the pool or into the ocean, slather your dry hair with conditioner first because it acts as a barrier. Because you think about it, that chlorine and that ocean water gets into the cuticles of your hair and can cause damage. So put some sort of serum or put some sort of conditioner on it first. I learned that from a hairstylist in San Francisco in Sumitra Salon and it has literally been saving my hair. So if you want an updated mermaid hair routine or how I'm taking care of my curls and making them look better than ever, I would be happy to let you know that this thing has been on my list. It's under 10 bucks. Um, Target and I think Walgreens. Um, it's drugstore, so I've been loving it. Something else I've been loving is the EcoTools Beauty Blender. I've always loved the Beauty Blender, but this one is from EcoTools, which again is a drugstore line. I've really been into drugstore recently because why spend more money than you have to? Um, and this is just like an eco-friendly beauty blender. And in my experience, it's a little bit stiffer than the regular Beauty Blender, but you can really get into these angles a lot better because it has this kind of pointed, um, I don't know what you call that, pointed geometric shape. Yeah. Something else that you just saw in my Virgin Islands makeup tutorial is that I've been loving a pop of color. This is another eyeliner from Urban Decay. It's a totally different one. This one's called Junkie and Green. But just any pop of color, I've been throwing it on my eyes. All right, so can we talk about the Virgin Islands? I had one of the most amazing experiences. I was there with my friends. It was like spring break. Um, I got so freaking sunburned, even though I used SPF, but it was probably one of the most amazing things just to be surrounded by water, just to kind of let go of a lot of those things that had been bothering me. As you know, I've been, you know, going through some big transitions and changes in my life. We did book a villa through Artistic Villas, which gave us these little stones that are like hand created. And let me read you the little card because this gave me a lot of happiness. This is called the Magic Stone, and it says, take home the essence of the Caribbean with a magic stone. Touch the magic and you will never be far from the healing power of the islands. What is it? It's a pool of color in a thumbprint of sand. 
Where is the magic? It's different for each one of us. A memory of light and color that warms the heart. A splash of foaming sea on warm coral or sand. An element of hope for the future. The magic is within. For centuries, travelers to the Caribbean have been refreshed and renewed by the sparkling blue-green waters of our special sea. The belief that all life begins in the water is an ancient one. Here at the Donald Chanel Studio in St. John, we have created a special glaze which we call the Caribbean Magic to reflect this special wonder. It is the heart and soul of the magic stone. And so that really spoke to me, especially just through everything I've been going through. And if you know, like, I'm a total water creature. Like, I am a total water creature. So just being surrounded by that crystal clear turquoise blue water, riding a Jeep, uh, chewing on a pineapple because I didn't have a freaking fork or a knife to cut it open. I literally ate a pineapple savage style. It was great. Um, it was just such an amazing trip. And then to be surrounded with people who really support me and understand, you know, those changes and transitions and support me as I really grow into my full potential as a person. So, so awesome. And like I was saying, if you haven't seen the Caribbean trip, I just dropped a video on it. And there's a whole bunch of posts that are backlogged on Instagram. So <laughs> that's been awesome. Okay, next we have to talk about this shirt that's inside out because I've been wearing it nonstop. This is from a brand called Love Tribe Compassion Clothing. So this is just first off a cute shirt. It says not a care in the world. And you just think, oh, like that's nice, whatever. This is an anti-bullying brand, and I actually kept the tag because I loved it so much, but this entire brand is about raising awareness on bullying and social media bullying and school bullying. And as someone who's really gone through that, both from myself and from other people, the fact that this brand is embodying that message and helping to stop it is unreal. The tag that is on every single piece of clothing actually says, if you or someone you know needs help, advice against bullying, please call the teen line at 800-TLC-TEEN or text TEEN to 839-863. And it's literally like a suicide line or like a helpline for those who are being bullied or for those who are kind of going through something like that. So just this brand, like I wish that I had something like this in Macy's near me when I was going through high school. Because sometimes you really just do need someone to talk to. And you can't talk to parents because they don't get it. You can't talk to peers because they're the ones that are judging you or that you feel like are judging you. Um, so the fact that this brand is embodying that just makes me so happy. I also have a pair of sweatpants that say fearless on them. And it just, it makes me feel pretty fearless if I do say so myself. This is the Love Your Brush from It's Cosmetics. It's, it's your brush love. This is a travel cleaner. Cleaning your brushes is huge when it comes to clearing up your skin and acne. And what I've been doing with makeup and acne has been really important. So this is great. It's literally a spray for on the go. You just wipe your brush, toilet paper in the bathroom. You're done. You're clean. You're sanitized. You don't have to worry about major breakouts. Speaking of foundations to cover acne, the NYX Cosmetics Total Control has been my absolute favorite throughout May. It's what I use pretty much all of May. Through June, I've been using the Hourglass Foundation, which I'm obsessed with, but the NYX Total Control has buildable coverage. It's a drugstore. It comes in 24 different colors to match any skin tone, and you can use one or two drops for light coverage, or you can build it up to full coverage with like five of them. So if you want a foundation tested on this or on another drugstore brand, let me know. NYX is cruelty-free, and I think that I will be doing that cruelty-free video for you guys about cruelty-free drugstore brands so stay tuned for that um, but this is in the shade 0708 that's what I've been using and it's like it's literally it's velvety and it goes on liquid so you have a lot of control over it but it blends out so smooth and it layers excellently and again for like $14 $10 on sale goals. This is a whipped foundation from the Bomb Cosmetics called Even Steven. This has also been a runner up in May. This is literally like whipped cream in a can and I know Maybelline released something like this years ago but for me it just didn't work for my skin. This is totally different. Do you see this? It's literally like buttercream frosting. Only it's vegan because the Bomb Cosmetics is pretty much cruelty free. So check that out. This has been amazing and I've actually been using it as an under eye concealer. Um, it's not super thick because it blends out well. It has a lot of dimethicone, which means it makes your face look and feel like an Instagram filter plus a baby's butt in the totally non-creepiest way possible to say that but it's thick enough that it color corrects for those under eye areas um, and just really makes my face look gorgeous. So this is a much creamier foundation and it is more expensive, whereas the NYX Cosmetics one is drugstore and a lot more layerable. But I have been equally obsessed with both of them. And yes, I have a sleeping body back there. She's chilling, so I don't mean to scare you. Uh, she's chilling like a villain. This is a palette that I created years ago, um, probably circa 2012 or 13 from Laura Mercier. And it's just one of those custom ones and I've honestly shoved it into the back of my makeup drawer and really rediscovered it this month of May. I 
absolutely love these colors. There's two mochas. There's like the perfect brow color. Um, they're super blendable. There's this purplish violet color and then this one that can be used wet or dry to be used as a liner. And like I custom created this palette, I purchased it at Nordstrom and I haven't used it in so long, but just rediscovering it, the creamy formula, the beautiful color, um, this is what I've been using when I've been on the go. And for a while I was using the Too Faced one and it had that great scent to it, but I don't know. I think I've been rediscovering makeup for, for a while. I was really out of the makeup game and makeup felt like a chore to me, but the more I approach it creatively, the more fun I have. And like, I'm not going to lie, as bloggers, we get sent certain things and we get sent a lot of product to try. But I've found that relying on that doesn't make me happy or excited about makeup because it's not always stuff that you want or stuff that works for your skin. And you know, if you get everything in life, it takes away the fun of having to work for it. And maybe that's just a me mentality, but, and it's weird to say this, but I almost don't like getting things handed to me because then it's like, I don't appreciate them as much, even though I might try to. Um, so I purchased this and I worked hard for it. And I think that actually purchasing something that's truly meant and made for you that you love, there's a lot of value to that instead of just following a trend that somebody else is doing. So really refill in love with this palette and I've had it for so many years and just not used it to its full potential. Last but not least, I have two lip products. This is the first one from M Cosmetics, Michelle Fawn. Now there's a whole bunch of drama with that that I don't totally understand. I know that L'Oreal, which is a huge corporation, originally purchased and made M Cosmetics and then Michelle Fawn took a while off of YouTube and really blossomed into an amazing, amazing person who is much closer to the true potential of how I know her as an actual person. Um, whenever I had met her in person, I felt like it wasn't always the same person that I was watching on YouTube because I never started watching her from the very beginning. Um, but she has totally grown into herself and blossomed in so many ways. And when M Cosmetics came out with their rebranding, I totally saw that come through in the line. So. I'm really excited about this because the first launch of M Cosmetics, I didn't feel like it was Michelle. I was just like, okay, it's like kind of like a lawn comb, like whatever. This, I feel like it breathes Michelle Fawn. I feel like it embodies that EM, me backwards is EM. Uh, it really embodies that message of creativity and art. And it's super geometric. I wish I still had the packaging, but this is a color called Spanish Earth. Look at how gorgeous this is. This is the brown that I've been using. It's a liquid lipstick. It's super creamy, super velvety, and super long wearing, but it also doesn't stain my lips. The formula is fantastic. The branding is just so on point. I've been obsessed with it. And, you know, just to see um, something come together with hard work, with love and labor, I just, this, in, this excites me as an actual human being, which I am so grateful to have cosmetics like this in my life because you should be excited every morning. If you're getting ready, you should love the things that you're using. And as I've been kind of clearing out things that I don't love out of my life, it helps me focus my attention and my appreciation on the things that I do love more. The very last this is the pillow plump. I've been totally not feeling glosses recently, just lip glosses. They've been getting in my way. It reminds me of the 90s when I would slather it on in high school in the mid 2000s. It was a bad look. But this is the Pillow Plump from Soap and Glory. And what's different is that yes, this is a gloss, but this is an actual lip plumper. And I'm the kind of person, I don't have anything against lip injections. I don't feel like they're right for me, however. But I understand that that puffed up lip look does look good on certain people on certain days. I want to overline my lips or kind of embody that. So this gloss actually like tingles for your lips, similar to the doo that Sephora sold years ago. But it's literally a lip plumper that doesn't burn super bad, but plumps up your lips. And then I just use this underneath the lipstick so you don't see the glossiness of it. And then I put the lipstick over the top and it makes my lips look amazing. And I've had people, there's a girl um, on Instagram named Camellia Concersoy. She's an awesome girl. She's an awesome, she's an Instagram friend. And she once asked me, she's like, do you have lip fillers? Cause like everyone seems to these days. And I said, personally, no, I don't. Um, for those who do, that's great. But I have found products that give me that look. And I, I'm also, I don't like to commit to a lot of things. I like to try everything, but like, like I want my hair to be curly and straight. I want to have options. Um, I don't want to commit to everything. So the fact that I don't have to commit to lip fillers in order to get plump lips is awesome. And like same with my nose. I don't want to commit to a nose job. There was a time where I felt I needed one, but it's because I was comparing myself to other people. 
I realized that I don't need a nose job and I can just contour if I want to have my nose chiseled a little bit more. So guys, um, happy May favorites in the middle of June. I really hope you don't mind, but I hope that you enjoyed this nonetheless. Uh, thank you guys for your patience and for growing with me because definitely these last few months have been very positive changes. If you have any questions or just recommendations or want to share something that you've been loving, be sure to leave them in the comments. Um, and thumbs up for this sleeping beauty who's just, who's just chilling. She's chilling. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Minnie! She got married and she moved to Oregon and now she's 600 miles away from me and it makes my heart hurt. But I love her. And I'm, I'm gonna go visit, trust me. Just, I'll, I'll make the time. Anyways, I love you guys. If you wanna come to Oregon with me in a vlog, we could do like a road trip to Oregon. Let me know if that would interest you. Hi, this is my armpit. I hope you're having a great day. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and hit the ding dong bell so you don't miss when I post about acne, cruelty-free foundations, or a road trip to Oregon. And I cannot wait to see you all in the next video. <laughs> love you guys.